Hi everyone and welcome back to some more MotoGP19 here on this channel. This is part number 32 of my career walkthrough. Now in today's episode we head to Spain for Aragon and hopefully we can pick up some decent points in today's episode because if we do we should become the champion already because we're that far ahead in the uh, standings. There isn't many rounds left so we should be on the GP bike soon and watch out for uh, the community post coming soon because that will let you know about some changes on the channel. Anyway, let's get into today's race. Here we are back at the track waiting for the second qualifying session to start. 18 riders classified but only one will start from pole position in tomorrow's race. Not going to complain about the weather today. Perfect conditions. Now that's put in some decent qualifying laps. Right, that was not too bad around that turn. Let's keep it nice and tight through there. And that was nicely done. Now the only thing that concerns me in quality today and the race, are we going to lack a little bit of straight line speed on that long straight at the end of the circuit? Because we still haven't fully upgraded our engine and some of the faster riders might take advantage of that. But we'll find out very soon. We seem to be quick at uh, sector one and two. So we're up on the time, but it is still very early on in the session. Uh, the faster guys seem to put in their fast times in the last two minutes. We've just gone into there a little bit too quick. It's not too bad, but uh, looking at the conditions of the uh, quali, it looks like the race is going to be very, very hot. So we're going to have to manage those tires. Oh, be careful to start a little bit too much there that was my own fault right let's keep it steady through this turn you have to master these corners these are the ones that um, I was struggling in the free practice session and I was struggling quite a bit on these next two corners let's see if we can now look this time let's look down oh, we just overshot that one slightly we should be able to recover and that's not too bad and God, I didn't want to bring the wheel up there and that's just cost us a little bit so we're down on sector three but if we can now the final corner we should be okay we should be able to get ourselves in a good position there's still plenty of time to put in some more laps if we need to and slowly up the throttle we could have been a little bit tighter there but I will take that and we put in a 156.9 sure whether that's going to stay but so far we're leading right heavy on the brakes get it turned in and try and get through here a lot quicker and slowly open the throttle and that was nicely done let's just be careful and oh we just, we've moved down to p7 so the times are coming in and this is our final attempt we don't beat our previous lap and oh we're over a second up so that is a really good sector one and two and we just overshot that corner damn i can't afford to do that that's going to lose us a little bit of time right we need to nail these next two corners let's drop it in nicely and again that was much better and slowly open the throttle and we kept the front wheel down and we're point four up on the time that is beautiful now we just need to master the final corner and the tire's still looking pretty decent so this is the end of the session can we take pole position in spain around the aragon circuits and that was nicely done to the line and we take our oh, one fifty five point seven. There you go. The we we get pole position ahead of Luti and Navarro and Marquez and Schrotter. Right, let's get straight into today's race. Really looking forward to this one and hopefully we can become the champion in today's episode. Welcome to the Spanish Desert. We're at the Aragon circuit where the latest race in the Moto 2 class is about to start. The skies over the track are clear of clouds and the latest weather reports forecast temperatures in line with the seasonal average. The final riders have taken their place on the starting grid and everything is ready to start the race. Just a few seconds to go and the lights at the Aragon track will signal the start of the race. Right, so here we go with today's race around the Aragon circuit in Spain. Let's see if we can get a decent start now. We've gone with a hard rear and a medium front. Hopefully that is the right tyre choice. And that was a bad start. But Navarro Luti got away really quickly there. Right, let's see if we can get underneath Navarro. Oh, that was a crafty move. And can we take Luti? Oh, what a one-two that was. I will take that. But it's going to take a few 
laps get used to this tight compound and that is not a bad turn there let's get tightly in because this first lap is going to be very very important i think i am going to struggle on the straights from what i saw in the qualifying they definitely have an edge over me on the long straight so that's where i'm going to lack so we've got to make it up in the turns and we've got really wide in that turn yeah these tires don't feel that great at the moment it may take a least two or three to get comfortable right slow it down into this turn what the hell was that looty wow he didn't just dive bomb he literally cut the corner surely he got he, he must have got a penalty for that and looty leads the gp in spain let's just stick with him can we get up the inside of him can take a chance into this turn i don't really like having another bike beside me going into this corner and oh he's managed to take it nice and tightly and again just trying to keep it nice and tight through there not feeling these tires at all at the moment but i'm just trying to keep it as smooth as possible and just hesitate a little bit there right this is where i think i'm gonna lack we've just managed to pull away a little bit but they're gonna drag me along this straight and it's looty that's doing the um, pressurizing at the moment is he gonna be able to catch me before the turn no, he didn't. Let's just keep it really, really smooth around here. That wasn't too bad. And we've managed to hold the lead. And oh, it looks like Luti's just dropped back and saw Schrotter has just over overtaken his teammates. Right, okay, let's get nice and tight in. Let's start off the curbs. And Luti is back into second place. He's just overtaking Navarro. So then three behind us are battling really hard and that will give us a massive advantage to try and pull away. Let's keep it nice and steady through here. Keep it tight. And we can see what the uh, split time is once we get around this corner. What is the gap? And it's just, oh, about a second. That is not too bad. We need that. And again, we just run a little bit wider into that turn, but you can get away with that. Right, so how are we going to get a dive bomb here? No, nope, they're not close enough to do it. And that is not too bad for me there. Just slowly trying to push these tyres now. We should have the temperature in the tyres now, so we should be okay in saying that. Just a little bit of a wobble at the back. And LT is 0.8 behind. Right, let's see if we can now these corners again. When I first got this team at the start of the career, I was worried, but um, you know, overall it hasn't been that bad to be honest. And again, we just really overshot that turn. Just the bike has performed really well, and um, we're gonna, we're gonna, we should become the champion if we win this race. And uh, we've got a few races to go, so we cannot complain. Let's see if we can get turned in nicely. But what team are we going to get offered for the GP bikes? Now, I would love to get Yamaha so I can race with Rossi. But if I get um, Honda, I'll be very happy. I don't want Ducati. Um, I've had Ducati before and I've really struggled on that bike. But we will just have to see what we get offered. Because we only got one Moto2 contract, if you remember, at the start of the Moto2 season. So if we only get one contract offer, have to take it. It's not too bad around there. Starting to settle into a rhythm now. Just maintain that gap. And it looks like it's the front tyre that is wearing down to. I went with the medium tyre at the front. Hopefully that is not a mistake. Because we have got a few laps to go. Just going to have to manage it really well. And again, really struggling to get it turned in around that turn. I saw a couple of um, bikes on softer compound at the rear as well, so that was interesting, especially in these temperatures. It's still, it's still glitching, it still does that. Let me know the post below if you still have that, where it just glitches now and again. This game can be very glitchy at times. Just managing to hold the lead, and it's just over a second, and it's still Looty. Looty is still trying to push just trying to get steady around these turns right let's try and 
nail it this time. Okay, just over a shoot in that. But that gives me the opportunity to just get a tight line into there. Again, that wasn't too bad. So we're just managing to hold. But they are, they are going to start dragging us towards the end. If they get within half a second of us going into this straight towards the end, they're going to come flying up the inside. And that's when we're going to have trouble. A little bit wider than I would like there. But just be smooth on the throttle and it should be okay. And that was okay. Times are a lot slower, obviously, being on this, co this compound. So that was only a 158. Way off the pace. Qualifying. And that's not too bad into that turn. I do, f I do find on this game sometimes when you get a certain distance ahead of the AI, they do just tend to just drop off the pace. But if they stay within touch of you, they stay on the pace. It's really weird because with all that new um, technology and all the new features they put in the game, they said that um, the AI would respond they do once they get behind they just because even if you look at their lap times sometimes when you look at the replays they do struggle once you, once you get a couple of seconds ahead they just drop off they don't don't always split apart either they stay in their groups there we on lap four the front tire looks pretty worn Managing it well. So the gap is still. Oh, it's Navarro that's behind us now, and the gap is about the same, just over a second. We didn't want to do that, so it's just going to be just one mistake, and they're going to be right on us. Just nail it through here. And that's not too bad. Oh, half a second. We don't want to be doing that. Just managing just to keep them away. Right, going into the final lap now. Just need to keep this consistent. Look at that front tyre. That is pretty worn. Just trying not to make any mistakes. And Navarro is just putting a 157.3. Right behind us. So it looks like he's got a bit of pace. Can't remember what tyre compound he had. Onto the curb. Oh, it's not feeling as grippy through there. But uh, when you start feeling it vibrate a little bit, you know that you can't push it too hard, otherwise, you're going to come off. So let's just keep it steady. Yep. Yeah. Front grip doesn't feel very good now. I knew this would happen at some point and we just dropped off through there. So it's only 0.8 and they're going to start catching. This is going to, this is going to go down to the bar, I think. Let's just keep it gentle through here. This is where we're going to lose the bike if we're going to lose it. It's nice to speak. Didn't use any brakes through there. Let it drop nicely through there. Right, so just keep this tight through here. bit of breathing space, we seem to pick it up through there and we always get it up to about a second, and that was nicely done through there, I'm just really going to back off now, let's take it a little bit slower, just to make sure we don't make any mistakes, and that is not too bad through there, I'll take that, and are they going to have enough, I don't think they will, but we still got to take that final corner with a very worn front tyre. So I'm really not going to push it through here. Just let it drop in nicely. Oh my god, we're a little bit wider than I would have liked there. Dropped off a little bit too much, but managed to pick it up. And to the line. Yes, we're going to take the win. Oh, that last corner, I wondered what was going on there. I was really drifting out wide, but we took the corner nicely in the end, and we win in Aragon. Oh, what a race that was. I really enjoyed that. And uh, maybe we could have gone with a hard front, but overall, it wasn't a bad effort. Now let's get into the final standings. Right, so we are the Moto2 champion, so that is awesome. So now we've just got to finish off this season 
and then move on to the GP bikes. It's been a hard slog, but we did enough. Um, it was tricky at the beginning, and I'm pretty sure on the MotoGP bikes it's going to be the same. But like I said, guys, at the start of the video, don't forget to watch out for a post I'm going to put on my community page because I've got some news about uh, the next few weeks on the channel. There's going to be a few changes due to uh, me going on holiday and some changes with the series. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash the like button and uh, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you, and goodbye.